We have Donna Rizzo here at Mud Puddle Pottery Studio today, and she's demonstrating one of her bowls, which is called the Dancing Ladies. Actually, these are these are now becoming flower girls, or oh. the walls of the flowers, because I started making these um, flower girls that hang on the wall and trying to fool with different flowers. And so, and like these are her little feet that hang, and I'll, I'll attach them. So that made me think, okay, I'll make to use different kinds of flowers and, and do the flower. And it probably, it's not a bowl because I'm cutting out, so maybe it's becoming uh, a candle holder or something. I don't know. That's, that's what's so neat about playing in clay is that you start with an idea and all of a sudden, it's just like when people write books and stuff, they'll, uh, 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 one character will be more interested than the other. Tell me and about so, some of your characters that you do. Characters? Well, I taught children's dance forever, so I love, I love taking stuff. Like I just did a, a, a sculpture with a girl upside down and her skirts flopped, and I called it, I see London, I see pants. Oh. I see. And, you, you know, just, I, just little ideas come, and then you'll fool with that. And then for a while, I had a bunch of girls that all fell down, and, and I called it, you know, pie, the, uh, we all fall down. And just simple. My stuff is simple, and I don't even think of it as art at all. I just, uh, just simple ideas. And I think a lot of it comes from choreographing, you know, the dance from a dance company that I had called the Tennessee Dance Center with Andrew Crishel. So, children and dance. And then I lived on a, grew up on a farm, so I like to do, do animals too, just depending on what's. You do some day. great animals. Yes, Thank you do. You. And I love your new studio out in the country. Me too. Uh, we moved from that awful Nashville. Everybody loves Nashville. I like it, but I'm so glad I don't live there anymore because of the traffic. And I used to bicycle everywhere in Nashville. So now we live on 23 acres of land. I have a big old barn for a studio. And yes, that, my ha life is good. It is beautiful out there. It's <laughs> just you. a real treat to go out there and visit you out there. I wish you'd come more, because cause that's the only problem with living out in the country, is you don't see people, and you wonder if you could even say a sentence. Oh. It's true. <laughs> it's so fun to go out and visit. So I just love this, and I love your swingers and the all the hangers that you do yeah. so much well people used to say donna you like everything to move and yet and that's these aren't moving these are pretty stable and but her feet will move but yeah i do i like to add things that make make my my clay things move and you do a lot of raku yes that's another problem i do low fire glazing i do high fire glazing i do raku and so I don't work as fast as if you're just only doing one style, then you get things done faster. But if you've got a chef full of this and that and that, then it might be two months before you get to the raku, you know, so forth. Is that That's, enough? Oh, well, that, that is a fun process. Yes, it is. And I love all the colors that you put into your work, and everything is so joyful and happy, and the animals and the trees. So you have such a great spirit in your work and we love having your work here Donna thank, thank you. you so much we're just honored to always be representing you thank you so much Donna